Today we shall discuss about oxides on the oxo anions of metals under the d block elements. Generally, oxides are formed at higher temperature. Metal reacts with oxides, metal reacts with oxygen to form oxides at higher temperature. And usually metals form basic oxides and non-metals they will form acidic oxides. Non-metal will form acidic oxides. Here and uh, the oxides are ionic in nature. The oxides which are formed with uh, these metals are ionic in nature. Exception is their scandium. So, except the scandium, all metals are ionic in nature. And the group number group number that coincides with the highest oxidation state highest oxidation state till group 7 <coughs> till group 7 which means that Scandium, Titanium, Vanadium, Chromium, Manganese, Iron, Cobalt, Nickel, Copper, Zinc. Right. So I am writing the group number here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So till group number 7. Till group number 7. The highest oxidation state, the highest oxide or the oxidation state coincides with the group number. For example, it Mn2O7, Mn2O7, right? The oxidation state of Mn is plus 7. So, this is the highest oxidation state in group 7. So, highest oxidation state is plus 7, that is in group 7, right? And CrO3, 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 what is the oxidation state of chromium here? Plus 6. So, this is the highest oxidation state of chromium that belongs to group 6, right? So, like this, till group 7, the highest oxidation number coincides with its group number. The highest oxidation number coincides with the group number. But after uh, group 7, Beyond group 7, the common oxidation state is plus 3. For example, Fe2O3. So, here the oxidation state is plus 3. Right, plus 3. So, this is the point you have to understand. So, till group 7, till group 7, the highest oxidation state that is equal to its group number. But beyond group 7, it is commonly plus 3. Beyond group 7, it is commonly plus 3 okay then and uh, this is all about uh, here we have to go for one important concept that is when the oxidation number increases when the oxidation number increases when the oxidation number increases the ionic character, the ionic character decreases, ionic character decreases, the ionic character decreases. So, both are opposites. So, we can, we can write like this, oxidation number, oxidation number. higher the oxidation number lower the ionic character or it can be written as 
लोअर द ऑक्सीजन नंबर हाइयर द आयोनिक कैरेक्टर तो इसके अंदर रिटर्न इन सारे लेस लिख दो तो ओके सो वी हैव अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हेन द ऑक्सीजन नंबर इंक्रीजेस इट बिकम्स कोवेलेंट इन नेचर सो ऑक्सीजन नंबर if it goes or increases what happens it becomes covalent in nature covalent in nature right this directly affects the mp and bp because we know that ionic compounds ionic compounds will have high mp and bp high mp and bp right so let us have a look over about this question here look here among this compounds that is m1 o m1 2 o3 m1 O two, M one two O seven, which is having the highest boiling point. Highest boiling point, which is having the highest boiling point. Or lowest melting point, lowest melting point. Let me have one question. Let me rub these things. You know to go for this one. You just go for this. Okay. Which compound of these have least mp that is the question so as we know that the ionic compounds will have high mp and bp right high mp and bp high melting point and boiling point for ionic compounds so least mp or least bp means it should be covalent in nature covalent it should be covalent in nature covalent in nature in sense it should have higher oxidation number right higher oxidation number so among this which compound will have higher oxidation number m1 obviously this is plus 7 this is plus 4 this is plus 2 sorry this is plus 3 and this is plus 2 right so obviously this is having the highest oxidation number so highest oxidation number in sense less ionic and more covalent and more covalent in the sense least boiling point yes least boiling point and other examples for having um, <coughs> highest oxidation numbers or cro3 here the oxidation is oxidation rate of chromium is plus 6 this is also a covalent in nature and b2o5 here the oxidation rate is plus 5 These two covalent in nature. Okay, and this M one two O seven. This M one two O seven is green oil. Green covalent. Green covalent oil. Right. Note this point. M one two O seven. That is green covalent oil, and this one. This will have low MP and BP. Why low MP and BP? Because higher oxidation state, so lowest ionic character. So that will tend towards covalent. That is why lowest ionic character, low MP and BP. Okay. Next. Usually, <coughs> usually. the higher oxides 
the higher oxides are acidic in nature right the higher oxides are acidic in nature like that there is m12o7 we know that this is in plus 7 oxidation state so this gives salt when it reacts with the uh, water it gives acid when it reacts with water it gives acid it is permanganic acid it gives hm1o4 that is called a permanganic acid permanganic acid usually the higher oxides are acidic in nature but v2o5 v2o5 this is in plus 5 oxidation state but this is amphoteric amphoteric in the sense you know so it will reacts with it reacts with acids as well as bases it reacts with acids and bases too acids and bases too but even though it is amphoteric it is mostly acidic we can say it is mostly acidic it is mostly acidic or mainly acidic right in vanadium the other oxides that is v2o3 this is basic in nature and v2o4 this is less basic in nature and v2o5 this is amphoteric in nature what we can say from this there is a gradual decrease of basicity so basicity increases from here to here or it's a gradual decrease of basicity from the lower oxide to higher oxide so here it is in plus 3 oxidation state here it is in plus 4 oxidation state here it is in plus 5 oxidation state right so in the case of vanadium we can say the basicity gradually decreases as the oxidation number increases in the case of vanadium basicity gradually decreases as oxidation number it increases as oxidation number increases and this v2o4 this dissolves in acids this dissolves in acids too this dissolves in acids so this is basic in nature this is basic in nature and cr2o3 that is amphoteric in nature that is amphoteric in nature usually the oxides are insoluble in h2 the oxides are insoluble in water usually the oxides are insoluble in water and we can classify the oxides into acidic basic and amphoteric so acidic acids acidic oxides it means when it reacts with water it gives an acid right so let us let me list out the acidic oxides v2o5 vanadium pentoxide CrO3 chromic oxide Ti2O3 no Ti2O3 is not acidic in nature actually M12O7 and basic oxides here we go basic oxides Ti2O3 CrO M1O, FeO, Cu2O, cobalt oxide, Fe3O4, NiO. These are all basic oxides. An amphoteric, 
Amphotoric oxides, we can have an example. Amphotoric oxide means we know that Al2O3. Al2O3 is a very famous amphotoric acid, Al2O3. When it reacts with HCl, it gives AlCl3 plus H2O. Right? When it reacts with uh, base NaOH, it gives NaAlO2. This is sodium aluminate. NaAlO2 plus H2. That is why it is called amphotoric in nature. Amphotoric in nature in sense, it will react with both acids and base and form the corresponding salts. Right? Let us go for a few amphoteric uh, salts in nature. Amphoteric oxides. Amphoteric. Amphoteric oxide in the sense we already seen that it reacts with acids as well as base. Al2O3 is a very good amphoteric oxides and V2O5 also. It is V2O5. Vanadium pentoxide is a best example of amphoteric oxide. And TaO2. VO2, Cr2O3, this is also an amphoteric oxide, and CrO2 and Mn3O4, Mno2, CuO, Zno, these are the examples of amphoteric oxides. These are the examples of amphoteric oxides. So we are saying acidic oxides, basic oxides, and amphoteric oxides, right? So, and there is a question related to this. V2O5 reacts with alkalis. V2O5 reacts with alkalis as well as acids to give what kind of uh, thing is this, right? So, let me arrange this here and let us go for this. Let us try to work out this answer here, okay? Now, uh, V2O5 reacts with acids as well as base. V2O5, that is vanadium pentoxide, when reacts. Vanadium pentoxide when it reacts with an uh, acid, say H2SO4, say H2SO4, it gives VOSO4 plus H2O, right? So here uh, we know that the SO4 is 2 minus. So here VO will be the oxygen will be 2 plus, right? This will be 2 plus here. And when it reacts with base, V2O5, when it reacts with the base like uh, NaOH, Na3VO4 plus H2. Na3 equation is not balanced, we can balance it later. Na3VO4 plus H2. Here, we know that it is sodium is 3 sodium, so plus 3. So here the VO4, the charge of VO4 will be 3 minus. So the answer is, when it reacts with alkalis as well as acids, alkalis, when it reacts with alkalis, it gives VO4 3 minus. When it reacts with uh, acids, it gives VO2 plus. So VO4 3 minus and VO2 plus. That is alkalis as well as acids. First is alkalis, VO4 3 minus and this one. This is the right answer here. So I am um, covering here. So this is the right answer here. Right?